You gotta lay on your back. They're fixing Dalton's baler and I'm making them teach me how to do things. So Dalton gets the pleasure of teaching me. What are we doing? You're about to learn multi. <laughs> We're gonna put a new PTL on it, right? Put this hand on that one. Gotta go out that way. Right? Yeah. Just, yeah, just tap it a little, maybe it'll go. Grab that hammer on the ground and we'll go over there. The press can work out more. Yeah, you can work it out more. Do you want me to hold it? No. I guess why we have to put it in here. I think I can take it off. Avery bent this one day. Never been replaced for 10,000 bales. <laughs> the other one had a foot of play in it. Oh. I don't know where he's at. Oh, back there. Now you have a new one. I got bent. Come here. I said uh, everybody's getting a little rammy on the sticks. Come here. <laughs> How'd the other one get bent, Avery? Yeah. Because <laughs> he parked his baler in my way and I had to move it with the skid loader and mm. the PTO got wedged in between the old uh, arm of the skid loader itself put a nice a nice little, little curve in it a little curve action just a little one i thought we were taking to the ffa thing oh clearly we didn't isn't that what we were doing i, I thought we were moving it out of the shed with the skid loader yeah we were taking the ffa thing. And then here it is, still here. Maybe, I don't know, that was a long time ago. <laughs> we got done with the project with the baler and now 
I'm just taking our old cattle collars, well, I shouldn't say old, our cleaned cattle collars, calf collars, back to the calf barn. And honestly, I think we're gonna call it a day for um, today because it's rainy and dreary and there's really not like, I guess there's projects to do, but not like pertinent projects. I don't know. It's also like 4 p.m. in the afternoon, which means it's five o'clock somewhere, right? I don't know. Drew day, wish we were planting. We're doing something fun, but we're not. Before I head to the farm for a little bit of Friday fun, I am going to go get the boys a little treat from Dunkin' Donuts. They go to Dunkin' literally daily, but I'm having them teach me how to do something today, so I feel like I need to give them like a little sweet treat to bribe them a little bit before we do some learning. As farmers, we're always looking for a way to earn a little bit of extra cash, which is why we're so happy we found the Upside app, which gives you cash back on your daily essentials like groceries, gas, and yes, even Dunkin'. How it works is you enter the app and find your favorite places with offers. For us, it's Dunkin', so then you go in and you claim your offer and get paid. Frequent users of the Upside app can earn an average of $300 of extra earned cash every month with their use of that, which is going to be very helpful thanks to the boys' Dunkin' habit and to pay for their special sweet treats. <laughs> to find out how much you could earn, click the link in the description box to download the Upside app and use code NACF to get an extra $0.25 cents on every gallon of your first tank of gas. Now let's go get the boys their Dunkin' and head to the farm. What are you going to teach me today? Can I change your oil in this thing or what? I guess. Get on your what? We gotta drain the oil. Okay. You gotta lay on your back. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Alright, you see it? Don't get your hair in the oil. Move the bucket to the side a little. Where's the bucket? Right there. To the left or right? Just under the truck. You see the valve there on the bottom, right above the bucket there? Yeah. How am I supposed to see that? Okay. There's a little, well, you're gonna have to, you gotta either, there's a little tab, you gotta either push up or down on it to get it to open. <laughs> see what I'm talking about? Yeah, but I don't. There you go. Got her. All the way. Oh. Now you're draining. I don't know if it'll all fit in that bucket though. That looks like pretty new oil. Shut it off once. Let me see, let me see the bucket. <laughs> oh, never mind. It just looked golden when it was coming out, but that's it that looked golden to you? Yeah. Like it did. Black sludge to me. Alright. Just the way the light was hitting it. Now you got your practice, you can do it twice. What in the heck? I have to insert the SpongeBob three hours later thing right now. What the f Isn't that just a valve one? Yeah. Oh. I was going the wrong way. Yeah. Well, you could have told me that. Well, I didn't know, but it, you, you struggle with some of the simplest tasks, so I don't know <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, usually if it doesn't go one way, I try the other way. Yeah. Get the stream of oil right to the edge of the bucket. Your big noggin right in the way. It's okay, though. Now, line that other bucket up so you're, it's all you got to do. Now, when, when it's time, you shove them both at the same time. But is that other bucket got a place to go? Can you shove it across or is it gonna hit something? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Is it like three quarter full? Yeah. All right, just go for it. There you go. That's how it's done right there. Basically, I'm a professional. Basically is here. Is my hair getting full of uh, yep. stuff? I, dude. Yeah, you see why I don't always film? That's no excuse for you. No, it's not, why? Cause you got oil on your hands? no excuse for you yeah your phone's already full of ick well yours is now too hmm. all right i'll go grab the filter wrench you can adjust you see right here open it all the way up i'll push it there you go well that's wider you had it as tight as it'll go this is getting pretty full 
it's slowing down. Like it's not yeah, you gotta grab it tight. I mean, it's tight. You have to <coughs> there you go. Unfortunately, that's still not doing anything. Yeah, you gotta do it tighter. It's hard, like it's really hard to do. You want me to do it? Yeah. Okay, slide out. I'll do it. I don't think there's enough in here. See how the stream is like almost nothing coming out? It's not almost nothing. It's still the same size. Okay. Oh, look at that for you. You got your hand, hands free? Why? Take, take this filter when I get it off. How heavy is it? Very heavy, it's just gonna be full of oil. Because they put it in the dumbest spot possible. And we have a bunch of that spill wrangler. Right. Whole pallet full right there. Yeah. Ready to grab. Take it. Flip it upside down in that other bucket there. Okay. Now what? Put the filter back on. So everybody who says, oh, fill the filter first, you can't because it'll dump out before you get it up there. We're servicing this semi right now, so the black one. Huh. There's an O-ring for you from the other filter. Oh, no, that's definitely from this one. Give it back. Just put it up there and twist around. Yeah. You try to anyway. I'll grab that. You gotta untwist the end of that. This? Yep. Other way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Just shoot her in. Yep. You get it in there all the way in. Nice little hang. You can let go. You can completely let go. Now, here's a rag to check the oil there. Pull the dipstick out. Twist it to the left first. I'll pull it out. There you go. All the way. You know, I do know how to check dipsticks because I'm around dipsticks all the time. Oh, yeah. There's like not going to be anything on it yet. So I gotta wait. Just wait a little bit. But. Yeah. Now, how many gallons of oil came out of it? Almost 10, eight gallons. Yeah, almost 10 is the right answer. So I think that's in quarts, but I wouldn't be too. I wouldn't. Well, I don't know what the start of that is. Yeah, so. exactly. So it'll take a little while. This mess out here. That's from all the short people around here that can't reach into this thing. And you just wanted me to. I'm the shortest one here. Right. What happens to all this oil afterwards? My uncle burns it in the shop for heat. Oh, really? Yeah. Look at that. Christine on the dot. Right on the money. Oh. All right. If you say so. Well, you just saw it. I don't know. I didn't see anything. If it blows up, it's on you. You just saw that there's <laughs> oil on it. Are you blind? All right. Pull your pull your dipstick out. That's not your dipstick, but you're good. I'm just messing with you. Go ahead. Put the cap on. Twist that shot. Don't set that in the sand either. Cause then the next time you stick it in the hole, the hole will be full of sand. You don't need sand in your motor, do you? Are you trying to make a joke? No. What do you, you got the dirty, you're a dirty dog. You got that tight? Mm -hmm. Tighter than me stuck in here. All right, twist the end of that shot again. You 
could wipe it off with your rag too. And then reel her up. Just pull on it from here. And then hold it, don't just let it fly. Otherwise Greg will yell at you. Keep pulling. There you go. Yeah, I know, and then you let it fly. Then you see the blue valve at the top? There you go. I wasn't really filming you there, I was watching you, not the camera. <laughs> I've decided I hate shop work. Avery's having me pull the truck forward, so we're just gonna set this up and you're gonna see what happens. I said it's very touchy, just a little bit. Push your air brakes in first, the yellow one. Yeah. Clutch all the way in. And then all the way to your right, or your left and back. More, yep, no back. You're already, you're already moving a little bit. I'm driving here. Now, if you let the clutch out, you're gonna take off, so don't do that. Let me go make sure all our, all our stuff isn't under our tires. You know where your brake is? Let the clutch out. You only have to go like a foot forward to get. Push the clutch all the way in and then hit the brake. Don't hit the garage door. Just very slowly let the clutch out. You want me to do it? You're making me nervous. It's gonna take, keep going out. Keep going. Keep going. You'll feel it start to grab and then go slower. All right, then put it in neutral. Is it in neutral? Yep, you can let it out. Here, just get on, let me do it. How can you 
can you just? <laughs> <laughs> the half of the valve stem is like in half. After I've just been yeah. trying at it for yeah. the last half hour to try and get it. That's what the whole point of us moving the semi. Didn't even move it. Moved it right back to where it was. <laughs> and then I've been trying to get it for the last half hour. Turns out it's broke. R.I.P. We didn't film any of it, but I've been on the sticks of the trailer all week this week, the cattle trailer. I drove it all the way down to a processor with the animal on it and did everything there. And then they just had me drive it up to where we get calves at and I'll have Dalton, when he gets back in here, give her a review. What's your review on my driving? Two out of 10, one out of five. So I have lots of room for improvement. I thought you said I did good. Yeah, you did good. Not great. You're perfect. You're awesome. Okay. It's pretty alright. Alright.